I'm going to show you how to create this crazy text effect in Adobe Photoshop using gradient maps as well as the tilt shift tool. Hopefully you enjoy. Let's get straight into the video. First, type out your text and go over to adjustments. Click on gradient map and then click on the preview. And here you'll be able to change the gradient. So these are the colors that are going to be in this effect. We actually just created a gradient pack just for this tutorial. So you can check that in the link in the description. But otherwise, let's just start from this gradient. You want to click at the bottom of this bar to create a point and then select on the color here and then select a color. So I'm going to go for some colorful colors and you want to double click on this stop once you make it in order to edit it. I'm going to go for yellow and then maybe orange and actually let's add some blue as well. So once you make this gradient, you actually won't see anything. You won't see anything until you do this next step. So click on your text, go over to filter, blur gallery and then tilt shift and then convert it to a smart object. This will allow you to apply this effect and actually go back and edit the text if you want later. So right now you won't be able to see anything, but you might be able to see this outline at the top and bottom of the text. But once you increase the blur in the top right, you'll begin to see this effect in action. So what you can do here is you can hover over this line, drag it up or down so that it covers more surface area. So you can do the same thing to the top as well. You can also hover over this point right here and just rotate as well so that only like the edges get caught on this sort of effect. And you can actually go back and edit if you want without having to do these steps again. So for example, if you want to edit the text, you just double click on this preview and then you can edit the text. So if I type in text and then save this, so command or control S and I go back to this gradient, you can see that it's updated. You can also go back to the blur settings by just clicking on blur gallery and double clicking on it. You can also go on gradient map and make sure that window properties is selected. So if you select on gradient map here, you can change the colors and you'll see it change in real time. So for example, if you went on our gradient pack here, you can see the different styles that we have. And if for some reason your text is black and you want it white, or if it's white and you want it black, basically you just have to adjust the first and last point. So for example here, if we change the first point to black, the text becomes black. And if we change the last point to white, the background turns white. So that's important to note if you do want the text color or certain color. That's about it for this video. If you don't have Photoshop yet, you can check the card above for over 60% off the entire Adobe Creative Cloud Suite if you're a student or teacher. If you want to watch more videos like this, check out this playlist and also subscribe to support this channel.